everybody, it's Chuflaco back at it again with another Madden Top 10 YouTube video today. I don't know, I'm super excited. I wasn't gonna do these right away, but I felt like a lot of people did want to see these, not only in my Twitch chats, in my TikTok comments. I was getting, can you update the Top 10 quarterback list everywhere? And I wanted to wait, like I said, until like maybe the middle of zero chill, but there were are at least, I think, six new quarterbacks on this list from the last top 10. Yes, six new quarterbacks on this list. It is absolutely nuts how many good quarterbacks we have in this game. And I think it's a good thing that this list is very hard to make. It's a good thing that there's not one guy I think that is like so far ahead of everybody. I, I love that. I love that about Madden, that there's versatility. You can use any of these cards on this top 10 and win a lot of games inside of Madden. But if you guys enjoy top 10s like this, I do this for running backs wide receivers i do gameplays i get my gameplays out instant if you've ever seen me post them make sure to have those noties on and make sure to also hit that sub button we're on that road to 10,000 subs now let's get right into number 10 number 10 we do have lamar i really hate that he's this low i think lamar should have gotten a higher card he was that one threshold off from having that gunslinger i think if he was a 94 he got gunslinger if i'm not mistaken at improviser um yeah that's exactly what it was he would have got gunslinger powered up if he would have got 94 his release is very very mad we all know that he's very mad but i feel like although he him and like uh say randall cunningham have the exact same speed in this game lamar jackson on the run if you're just an escape guy you run a lot of quarterback plays lamar feels so good in the open field there's no other quarterback that even feels as good as him even though randall cunningham's the same speed as him or i think one speed lower than him they don't feel the same lamar just like i don't know what it is about him maybe it's changed direction at 93 maybe it's like these ball care vision i don't know what plays into it maybe it's just how, how however they design him to play he makes plays out there for you this card will make plays i think his next upgrade will boost him easily into a top five top three card in the game i think because of his archetype he was just one overall off of being a top three card top four card in this game it really does suck and plus they released a lot of really good quarterbacks right after he came out which really does suck for him but still a top 10 card in this game and i still think he could have been easily a little bit higher i just think it's like a it's not i don't know it's he just can't throw the ball as good as I want him to. Number nine, we do have Jake Plummer. This is a card that I have been absolutely sleeping on. I don't even know if I had him on our top 10 last time I recorded it. I can't even remember, but this card, he has Aaron Rodgers release. He has Aaron Rodgers release, and I did not know that. I don't know how most people don't know that. He gets past lead elite, no gunslinger. If he would have got gunslinger, he'd arguably be top three in this game. I still think he could have been easily higher on this list. He's fast. He has 86 speed. It's not like crazy fast, but that is solid, solid speed out there with 91 Excel. He has really good throwing stats all above 90 when powered up with really good throw on the run and play action. Remember, he does have the, okay, the one thing about him, though, you guys know with Aaron Rodgers, the one negative about his release is that he has the worst throw on the run release in the game. That little cock back where they jump up in the air, too. A lot of awful, awful releases from them. But he, like, when you're in the pocket with this card, it's beautiful. It's beautiful how fast it comes out. This is a very, very slept-on card. You do not see him out there. And, yeah, if you're a Cardinals guy or if you just love Jake Plummer, go get this card. Do not be scared to put him on your field. For A, we have Justin Herbert. This is the Redux. Same thing as the LTD. Uh, 85 speed, 87 Excel, so he can't get out that pocket. He actually has the same exact release as Peyton Manning in this game. It's nothing crazy, but it is solid. It definitely is solid. He has really good stats as well. 93 throw power, 92 short, 89 medium. The deep, we want to be higher. I think that was the thing that everyone didn't like about this card is that he doesn't hit the threshold that deep. And you definitely did notice it out there. Trust me, you do notice it. But at the end of the day, not having the best release in the game and only he does get Howard Master. I think he can only get set feely, not even pass lead lead in the second slot. Yeah, he only gets set feely, not pass lead, even when powered up. Really does hold him back, but at the end of the day, he's still a solid card getting Hot Row Master, having some decent speed, and having solid stats. Number seven, we have that Harvest Matthew Stafford. I love, love, love this card. I just hate, like, the mobility on him. He does get Gunslinger, and he has a solid release. Nothing overwhelming. The one thing that's, like, a super, super negative about him is his cockback on deep throws. He might have the worst deep throw animation in the game. It is awful 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 when you're trying to throw bombs but everything else he feels like about as good as it gets as any other card in the game that's how much i love him and then like 
I don't like, even the speed. He has solid speed to get out. He's not a Peyton Manning out there. He will get out the pocket. He will make plays for you. He does get that gunslinger. I think he was one overall off of getting gunslinger and Harrow Master. I don't know what it is or his strong arm. I think it's 97 overall, if I'm not mistaken. But Matthew Stafford, very, very solid card and definitely a top 10 quarterback. Number six, we have Cam Newton. This is a card that I think you can put Matthew Stafford above. I think it comes down to play style. So if you have Matthew Stafford and you're wondering, like, how does this guy have Cam Newton? I think it comes down to play style. And I think if you give Cam Newton and the guy in the right hands of a player that uses him right, will be able to play better than the guy with the best Matthew Stafford, in my opinion. Although Matthew Stafford does get conductor as well, which is a good ability. Cam Newton can get out the pocket with crazy excel, crazy speed above 90. His throw power is ridiculous at 95. Absolutely ridiculous. That's before the power up as well. He has all above 90 throwing stats, which is crazy for how fast he is. He also gets pass lead elite. His throw under pressure is very, very tough. But the one thing that I've been throwing on him to kind of I don't know if it's actually been working, but I've been throwing a lot, or what have I been throwing? I've been throwing quick draw on. If you look at quick draw, helps faster animations when they're under pressure. Helps a little bit. I don't know if it helped. I just been trying to use it when I was using this card, and I was also using pass lead elite. Like I said, you can use escape artist on him if you're an escape artist guy. But if you want to pass the ball and still have that scrambling ability, I think pass lead elite is the best thing to run on Cam Newton. I just think the versatility of this card just makes this card so good. Number five, Josh Allen is still very high in this list. I, I think. Josh Allen just plays so good in this game. He has solid speed to get out the pocket. 83, not no 90 Cam Newton or even the 86 Jam, uh, the Jake Plummer. But the thing about him is he has one of the best releases in the game and he gets Gunslinger. Yes, he gets Gunslinger with one of the best releases. He doesn't hit that medium threshold, but I don't think it's as bad as not hitting that 90 threshold kind of like Justin Herbert didn't when powered up. Remember, he does get Gunslinger. He has the second best release in the game. Uh, it's he's been in the game for a while the one thing that's always been a negative on him is that throw under pressure but the fact that he can get out the pocket he has one of the best throw on the runs he has one of the best deep releases in the game this guy is just every time you think like you just got to get rid of him he is just so so good this card is amazing i now think that there are cards way better than him that's why he's not like number two or three like he was in past videos but he's still easily top five in this game. And if you want to, this is the definition of budget beast, 60K. If you are new into Madden, I don't care if you have 70 overalls, you save up, you get this card, put Gunslinger on him. It's, you'll have this card forever. This card is amazing. And number four, we have Boomer Esiason. This is a card that I think could be either three. I think the top two guys are locked, but I think three and four are interchangeable. Boomer Esiason though, I am going to put at number four only because he has a little bit of negative to him, right? He has the 82 speed. He does, if you guys do not, know if i show you guys the power up he does get the he's the only quarterback in the game that gets this he does get escape artist in the fourth slot right here and pass lead elite in the second so you can run with the ball and pass with this card the thing that sucks about him is he doesn't like his rollout to the right is one of the worst things i've ever seen even with escape artist he doesn't even feel very fast at all so it's it's i don't know i really don't know how i feel about him because like i said he is ridiculously slow when it comes to like even the escape artist yes it's fast and it gets a little out of pressures but it, even when you get in the open field it's about as ridiculously slow as possible i like i just think i would take these other three guys above him just because of how like i don't know i don't know it's i i haven't really played with this card this card is like still i'm very confused about him i really am i haven't played with him too much i haven't got too much about him but i know he is in this range i know a lot of people are using him i think this is more of just if you can use him right he's definitely can be above the next guy we have on this list. Boomer size and though the fact that he gets fast lead and elite and escape artist boosts him so high in this list. Number three, we have the statue himself, Peyton Manning, the man of the pocket, the the literally just yeah, the pocket holder, the sheriff, everything you want to call him, Peyton Manning. His card is absolutely amazing, but everything is good about him, but this stat right here. This stat right here, and trust me, you think he would be able to get, this card to get three yards is considered like an accomplishment. It, I'm telling you, if you're playing anything from a decent player, you getting three yards is literally, just don't even try. Just don't even try. The throw on the run is almost impossible to do, but let's talk about the good things about this card. His stats are absolutely amazing. All 90, or he has a 95 throw power and powered up. He'll have a 
96 short, 93 medium, 93 deep, which is amazing all accuracy stats. His throw under pressure is amazing. His play action is amazing. He has really solid throw in the run. He'll hit 90 when powered up. And he's also has, he's six foot five, so he's not going to dink your lineman in the head on low balls. And the one thing about him, he does have that Justin Herbert release, which isn't very good. It's not Josh Allen or Aaron Rodgers. But it's solid. It's definitely like middle of the pack. It's not Patrick Mahomes awful, but it is solid. Peyton Manning, he gets Power Master 2 and Gunslinger. Both, he's the only quarterback in the game that gets both, and that's one of the things that you don't see it here because he's not powered up. But when you do power him up, he will get Power Master in the second slot, Gunslinger in the third. This card is a must-have on your team if you can utilize Power Master to the fullest and you're a pocket guy. This is the best option for you. Number two, I still have Dan Marino. Believe it or not, I don't think Dan Marino is the best in the game. I do think it's very, very close, though. I, I think you can interchange one and two. I really do. I know a lot of people still, I, I like I tell you guys, a lot from what I get from these lists is watching Comp Madden players. Comp Madden players play this game 10 hours a day more than I do. 10 hours a day more than even the daily Madden player. They These guys play this game for their job. They compete. They play all day. They find the best cards, the best abilities, the best everything. And Dan the man is still out there on almost every team. I say I would say it's more half and half now, but Dan Marino, 77 speed, so he can't get out that pocket. He's not overwhelmingly fast, but he can pick up a five-yard first down if you need him to, if it is wide open. He we all know about this card. There's not much to say about him. He has amazing stats. His throw on the run isn't very good, but he does have Aaron Rodgers release, and he gets every team chem. Him getting every team chem is a positive. Normally I don't talk about chems and everything, but getting every team chem is a huge positive to have this card on your team as long as having the best release and getting past lead elite and Howard master dan the marino is absolutely amazing in this game I bet you none of you guys are surprised at number one i have randall cunningham 93 speed so he is one speed less than that lamar he has amazing stats all 90 plus in the short his throw the runs amazing his throw power is amazing his play action is amazing his throw under pressure is amazing he even has good break sack but the thing about him, he is crazy fast, and he also gets Gunslinger. He does have to be powered up, you see. You do have to power him up to get that Gunslinger. It is very expensive. It is 5 AP on him. But at the end of the day, having somebody this fast with Gunslinger is just amazing right now. His release is solid as well. I think it's the one. I think this is, his release is considered like the third best in the game, like right there, right behind Josh Allen's. But yeah, I have no complaint with Randall Cunningham. This card is absolutely amazing. If you guys have been playing with him, you know. This is why you see this card all the time. He's also very cheap. If you guys can get this card under 200K, go get him. Go get him. You do have to power him up, though, which really does suck. His power up is not the cheapest, you can see, around the 20-ish to 30-ish K mark. Really does suck, but this card is absolutely amazing. Please go add him to your team if you're looking for a budget card. Not even budget. He is the best quarterback in the game, in my opinion, and he's this cheap. Please go get Randall Cunningham. I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Make sure to smash that like button. We will, I think, be doing a gameplay tomorrow on a theme team. I'm not going to tell you guys which theme team, but on non-content days, you guys know Sundays we get no content. I think I'm going to pump out more, more gameplays for theme teams, just full 50 out of 50 theme teams. So if you have a 50 out of 50, make sure to let me know and we can work something out i am on xbox i would love to use your theme team if i have not used your theme team already appreciate you guys though make sure to smash that like button i hope to see you guys in the next video tomorrow peace out everybody